Hello, this is Wampire uh, here to talk about the flail technique. The flail is a very good, uh, in my opinion, a, an excellent self-defense technique. Um, and there's many ways to do it. But what I want to show you guys today, explain to you guys today, is the most simplest, easiest version that, that I can think of. Okay, uh, so uh, what it is, is it's basically this motion right here. Okay, just to go like this. Okay, so you see it's just one motion, but I'm just doing it over and over. It's continuous and it's relentless. Okay, so I'm doing this and I just put that into someone's face. Okay, so this area and I'm spinning this repeatedly and I bring that to somebody's face. They're not going to like it. The purpose of the flail is not to destroy someone or not to knock them out. Uh, whether it's a knife, a stick, a machete, or, or whatever weapon that I have that I could use with one hand, the purpose is to make it difficult for them to come in. And let's say they want to uh, take me down or they want to grab me and slam me against the wall. It makes it harder for them to engage me, right? And the other thing is it helps me keep the distance. So it helps me keep them away from me. It makes it harder for them to enter. So that that is... 100% the purpose of the flail, I mean, it's very good for, for self-defense. So this is the idea right here. I mean, just think that you're like a lion tamer, okay? And you're using this kind of speedy movement to get them away from you, okay? So this right here is the motion that I'm doing. It goes out and it comes back. Make sure you don't hit yourself in the face. And it's just a circular motion that I'm doing over and over and over and I should be able to control the angle like do I want it really wide like this okay where it's going all the way around like this or do I want it more vertical like this and the circle is now smaller I should be able to control that okay so that does come with practice but uh, keep that in mind and as you do this like so at any given point, they may decide that that attack that you're doing, this the flail motion, is is not a very strong attack because you know the idea is to just keep them away. It's it's more like to to make it difficult for them to approach you. That's why we're like going for the eyes and stuff. Okay, so they may decide I'm just gonna charge in, right? I'm gonna take a couple of hits. I don't care. I'm charging in. And then I'm going to do damage. They might be thinking like that. So if they do and you, you notice that they are charging in, then at any given point, go ahead and go to double hand like this and just strike as hard as you can. Or, you know, baseball style. Or you could even stab. Just at any given point. For the stab, I like to have a little bit more distance. Now it's more like a spear. And, and just stab as hard as you can because they're, they're rushing in. So... They're helping you make that attack even stronger. So you, you could use their momentum against them. Okay. But the idea is here. And if you notice they're going to charge, boom. It's all really just fortify and strike. It's even better if you could strike and move out of the way. But if not, just hit them as hard as you can. And you might have to come back with a, a stab this way. Okay. So that's the idea of the flail. Now, if you're only doing one motion over and over again, it's the most basic, right? To do one circular motion. This, this is the flail. Now, even though, so because this is the most basic, uh, it becomes easier for them to read and time you. So they might be able to counter you, okay? Because it's predictable, because it's going around and around and around in the same, uh, exact same direction you know, pretty much probably at the same speed over and over and over. So they're going to get used to it. They'll figure it out. So to change it up a little bit without going too complex, because like I said, you could make it way, 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 way more complex, but let's not do that right now. Okay. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to keep the same motion. Okay. The same direction, the same circle that you're doing, the same motion like this, but you're just going to change the angle to now it's here. It's sideways here. So all I did was this while I kept that motion going and now it's this way, okay? And I can bring it back to where now it's back to the middle right here and then I can bring it over here and it's the exact same motion but now it's 
on the left side. So left, right, and middle. Okay, so those are the, the three areas. Left side, right side, and the middle. Okay, so that can make you change it up a little bit, make it a little bit harder for the opponent to see, to predict. But at the same time, it's just the same motion for you. So it's not, you're not doing anything complex. Even under pressure, you should be able to do it. Okay, so um, here, let me show you guys now with, uh, with Stickman. So right here, uh, I'm going to start with the middle one right here. And you can see, right, I'm hitting, it hits the head, obviously. So now I'm just going to tilt the angle. And it's this way on my right side. And I can hit I can hit the arm going this way. And I bring it back to here. And then I'll bring it this way. And now you can see I can hit the arm, but from my left side. So I don't change the motion. The wrist motion is still the same direction, the same circle. Okay. And then over here. So I'm just changing the angle from here to here to here to here. Okay. So that's it for now. Thank you for, for viewing and take care, folks.